Greetings folks, this is the Foxeer Mix 2 combination FPV and HD recording camera. Kind of a competitor for the Runcam splits I guess. Uh, I've tested all the Runcam splits before. Although they're pretty good, they've all sort of fell short a little bit in image quality I thought, uh, and sort of interference with the FPV image. Uh, so it'll be interesting to try these new breed of uh, split cameras. I also have the Runcam split 3 micro and the Hawkeye 4K split camera to, to test as well in the future. But we're going to concentrate on the uh, Foxeer Mix 2 for the moment. Specs 1080p 60 frames a second recording and FPV camera. Uh, switchable from 16.9 to 4.3. On screen voltage and fly time. Input voltage 5 to 24 volts. CMOS sensor, 2.1 millimeter lens, NTSC or PAL switchable, I guess. Color is, this one's fluorescent green, that's pretty cool. All right, I'll just uh, show you what's in the box. There's a little uh, warranty card or feedback card there, little manual with quite a lot of information on it, which is great. There's the little camera and it's not attached to the board at this stage. Uh -huh. We have the separate board and it comes in the larger uh, stack size uh, but I think you can also break it out and use the smaller 20 millimeter stack size as well. Um, SD card slot there, operation button there. Anyway uh, I'll look closer, more closely at that later on. Little box of goodies as well. Okay, we get a couple of mounts, an adapter mount, so it'll fit in the bigger mounts, and a little mount just for the camera. On-screen display setup selector. Standoffs. Uh, it looks like an SD card cover and cables more standoffs and little uh, mounting screws as well and washers. Alright so let's have a close-up look at the board. Uh, so we have the 30.5 spacing M3 uh, holes and the 20 millimeter holes and you can break away the outer board if you want to fitting on a small quad. Uh, the connections here, you can either solder to the board or you can use the four pin connector. Uh, voltage sensing, so if you uh, solder battery voltage there, you'll get on-screen display of the voltage sensing, on-screen display video ground and VCC, or if you're using the four pin connector here, you've got on-screen display video ground and VCC, which is 5 to 17 volts. Uh, we have a power and selector button there for the 20 millimeter size. Let's flip it over. And another power and selector button for the 30.5 millimeter size. SD card slot there. And a microphone there. This connector here is where you connect the lens and that just pushes on. like that, just clicks on nice and easily. Now the cable, that's the end that plugs in to the board. Plug that in so we know what we're doing. On screen display, selector plugs in there, we'll have uh, video yellow, ground and power. We also have these three extra cables which I really don't know what they're for. Uh, but I'm going to clip off that plug anyway because it's no use to me and I'll make up my own connection. Soldered it up now and I have a normal DuPont connector on there for video signal and uh, ground and I've connected the uh, voltage sensing wire and just uh, soldered that into the, the red wire because I always power them off my flight battery so that'll be useful. So let's connect it up. Uh, I've got a video transmitter here that I'll just plug it into. Plug the on-screen display selector in there, setup selector. 
and now I'll connect up the battery getting the startup screen and there we go looking good uh, but I think we're going to be in Chinese so let's see what we can do about that so we've got a blue light on the board and I worked out that this one here is where you change to English English there we go so let's go for English be able to understand it so we're on video we can choose resolutions One eighty, thirty, seven twenty, one twenty, and seven twenty, sixty. Got to go with uh, one eighty, sixty. Loop recording. I think I'd prefer loop recording off, so that we only get those choices. Auto recording on. Yeah, I like auto recording on because so that way you don't forget microphone level. Uh, pretty cool. Timestamp off, and very good. Let's go across to image, metering, EV, white balance, contrast, saturation, sharpness, wide dynamic range on. I think I'm going to turn wide dynamic range off for the moment. Camera. No, 69, yes, uh, I want PAL. Thank you very much. Light frequency here is 50. Auto on is on and we reset and system SD card we need to probably format the SD card when we put it in and don't really want the name on there good so we turn the name off voltage detection time I don't want the time on there and we're done how do I exit? Uh, I don't know how to exit. All right, we'll just power it off then. So does that look circular? Roughly, it does look a little bit distorted to me. It's on 16.9. So that's all very good. All I need to do now is mount it up, put it on the plane and go for a fly and let's do some HD recording as well as FPV. All right, so here's the little Foxy Mix 2. Uh, on my range of 1600. I'm just going to plug it in. Okay, starting recording, FPV recording now. FPV is recording. So looking at the FPV view, we've got a beautiful coloured view. Very nice indeed. All right, let's go. All right, goggles down. Oh, this is looking good. It got a bit of jello, unfortunately, but I'll do some gliding. Oh, beautiful view. Lovely blues and greens. Magic day. We've just had a, a sort of a rain squall and a rainbow out there disappeared. Let's trek down the coast here. Yeah, we do have some ripply lines in the FPV view, but it's not bad at all. This is this is a beautiful view. Full 16.9. Magic. Voltage on the screen. Well, it's the sort of day you just want to cruise on down the coast. Doing a bit of trimming of my Ranger 1600. Come back this way again. Tiny bit of diagonal lines, but uh, you could really forgive that in the FPV view. Surf's up, looking beautiful. Yeah, the problem with the other split cameras that I've tried is the FPV view has been 4.3 or cropped 16.9 and um, not a great view. Really low contrast. This is spectacular. I love it. It's like the colour.
collar's been sort of turned up. <laughs> Forty-nine dB. Oh, DB's getting a bit low. Probably come back. Let's go down a bit lower. Scoot along the path. There's me there. Oh, this is this is a nice FPV experience, and I'm getting the HD recording as well. Really, really rich blues and greens. Let's get a bit of height and see what the view's like up there. A bit of jello up there, I'll have to balance my prop a bit better. This is a lovely area, but that is a water treatment plant, so it can be a bit stinky in the uh, in the certain wind directions. So I'm just gliding now. There's a uh, slope sawing spot there on the front of those dunes. Often go over there. Come back again. Oh, magic. It's handling looking into the sun without any problems. And I haven't got wide dynamic, dynamic range on. Car park there. Just beautiful. would really lend itself to uh, an INAV board with all the on-screen display stuff uh, then you could sort of trek off get some spectacular footage all right I'll bring it in I do have my, if, uh, my RC antennas just stuffed in the plane so uh, it's, it's not going to be the best range but the picture is spectacular. Sweet. Oh, this is gorgeous. I like it. So the FPV view is spectacular. Beautiful colours, uh, probably oversaturated colours a little bit, but uh, it doesn't look bad. It looks fantastic. Of course, I haven't seen the HD footage yet, but you will, will have seen it because I will have edited it in. Um, so once I've had a look at it, I'll tell you what I think about it. After reviewing the HD footage, um, I think it's quite good. It's, it's not quite up to the Mobius standard, although it is 60 frames a second, 1080, the Mobius is only 30 frames. But I sort of compare all onboard footage recording to the Mobius because I think it does the best job of sort of smoothest colours, smoothest tones and, and most natural colours. The Foxeer uh, Mix 2 kind of is highly saturated but, but lowish contrast. Candy colours, I, I think I call them. Sort of bright blues, bright greens with a bit of a, a pinky tinge which is very similar to all the uh, split style cameras that I've tried and the Runcam 3S as well. It does a better job than most of them I think. The FPV experience is wonderful. Full frame 16.9 with the voltage on screen. Uh, love the FPV experience. HD footage is usable. It's, it's pretty good really. Um, can't complain too much about it. You can improve it a little bit in editing if you want to. Add the contrast and drop the saturation of the, uh, a touch. Just lacking that sort of smoothness and, and ultimate sharpness of uh, a, a separate HD camera. But a good product. It's light, small, simple, 
quite good quality, excellent quality for FPV. Latency, don't ask me about latency. I didn't notice any. Uh, flying planes, you don't no notice latency so much anyway. So that's the Foxy MX2. Thanks for watching.